आप लोगों को आपस मिल गया ना सर नहीं मिला अभी अच्छा आपको मैं हम लोग कैसे रात के दिए मार्च को दिए उनके वो लू थैंक यू सर Without taking time, I call Dr. Mukhsu to uh, continue this session. Please.
So you can imagine I'm a Pakistani, uh, born and raised in that, uh, Pakistan, but I designed this project which has not been challenged up to now. Uh, this uh, not only project uh, in the US and Pakistan. So people uh, who learn my project, they think I'm a psychiatrist, but I'm not a psychiatrist. So I am uh, very thankful to Allah that uh, I work with the Pakistan Psychiatry Society, Pakistan American Psychiatry Society, and we have signed uh, 26 uh, MOU with uh, multiple medical universities and uh, non-medical universities in Pakistan. And Apna is also part of the tradition. Say, they all work with us on this project because we believe this is a national emergency in Pakistan, and uh, this uh, addiction, which is the worst disease of humanity, and we are dealing in Pakistan. So, so first thing I want to uh, know: How many people are from uh, final year in this session? So not many, how many fourth year? Okay, so the rest are the juniors, right? Okay, so what I'm working on that because our main objective is to help Pakistan, the medical students as well as the other uh, people of Pakistan. So our uh, experience in the medical field in US, what we have learned through my project is a collaboration. Working together as a team will make a difference in many people's life. So, and this is the most difficult task for uh, Pakistani people. The other nations, everybody wants to work individually, which actually did not let them to reach their uh, higher potential. And they fail because they don't work as a team. So, as uh, your principal said that I am a Iqbalian, I am Iqbalian, but I am really Pakistani and I became Iqbalian after that, right? So, I am open to help any students, any alumni, and we try to build a team among alumni. So, my project is designed by me, but I am working with North Pretty Medical University, Sakhar Medical University, and other alumni. So our goal needs to be we can work as a team and help humanity and help each other. So which is our key thing that we need to learn. We should not, never focus on individually. Look at the opportunity. Just give you an example. The sustainable development goals of the WHO are based on collaboration. And if you want to remove, there are 17 goals. If you read them, you will learn a lot from them. And it's based on the collaboration, coordination, and communication skill of those countries. So that's why you always try to help other people, other alumni, and gain the knowledge from them, and share your knowledge and your experience with them. So that's the first thing. If you want to take anything, from, take home message from this, work. How we, uh, how we could learn to work to um, produce a best learn as a team. That's the key thing. And you need to practice this. This is very important. Because people, um, as a nation, this is our one of the biggest problems. Not here, it's also in overseas. We see in the US, I'm not sure, I've never been to, uh, I've been to Europe, but not doing these observations. In US, we work individually. Our physician groups are very minimal because of a pattern that we carry from here, continue in overseas. And even America is the capitalist country. It has huge potential opportunities. And we fail because of our lack of willingness to work as a team and then we feel, uh, we lose huge depression. So that's why it's important, believe in this uh, working as a team, you will succeed in your life if you learn this opportunity, that is working as a team. 
you will find people that uh, may not uh, help you, but you should not take their role. You always look for people to work there, and you will come out successful in your life. Alhamdulillah, we have uh, achieved what I, my goal was, and I'm now, for the last uh, seven years, trying to, you know, get back to the country. Uh, I was president of North End chapter. I am the president of the my organization, the foundation, and also I'm working. Uh, I'm also chair of my organization team. So I have several projects for students. So what makes you different when you go out and want to apply for your residency? You need to understand when you come to the medical school the first year. Your planning need to start right from there. Don't wait until you get fourth year, fifth year. Your planning need to be right from the first year. And we are trying to talk to their uh, academic uh, position so they can change some of those uh, your uh, the courses that you guys uh, have to take. Then if they can make those uh, compatible with the U.S., so you can compare yourself with them and time those um, taking the US exam and they take in America so you can be very competitive and you never waste your time. So since I um, I want to design and put in right the path pathway to residency for USA in, in USA. So we are working to put all the materials together. So you will have uh, number one, when you come to the first year, you should get a career counseling right from the beginning. And there should be continuously educational workshops on career counseling. How you can make yourself better. So I have asked some students to volunteer and we can have our uh, uh, position who are in the leadership role so they can give the um, workshops online. So my one of the successful story that I used Zoom back since nine, uh, 2018. I did everything sitting in the US. And now I am working across Pakistan, multiple universities. And if I didn't have a Zoom, I would not be able to achieve that, what I have achieved through Zoom. So use the technology, even coming here, it takes a lot of time, traveling, money. So if I would have communicated with the administration, so I would have given the lecture right from home. It saved you time, resources. So use technology as much as you can do. Only go for physical where you so, for example, I have set up a program for the uh, physician here who want to get uh, the letter of recommendation. So they can work with us through telemedicine and they can experience the American system right from here. From, we have some offices here in Pakistan and I am talking to different medical schools if they want to collaborate with us, so we can provide you guys the opportunity that you can see our patient. You can talk to our patient, you can talk to our uh, physicians who are working in the clinic in the US, and you can get the uh, experience one to two months right from here. So, and you can communicate with patients. Once uh, you sign up for the paper and the college willing to provide us uh, the, just a uh, room and we provide everything else. So that's a very huge opportunity. Uh, the reason I, I have uh, one physician I hired, I have an office in Saibam. She joined us and uh, after she finished her uh, house job. Now after six months working with the psychiatrist, she worked with her, him twice a week. She write his notes. She do all the follow-ups. In six months, she's able to really deal with the psychiatry patients, rising from home with the highest standard of education.
So this, this is why we believe the technology can help. Even you don't want to go to the US, but you can still have the opportunity to learn the system because this is the best system. So those opportunities depend on your leadership here in the college. If I can give you the example, Lord Pitty Medical University, I have found their leadership is really amazing. Uh, they have uh, been working with us since 2018. And today, I brought, I will give you a demonstration on the AI, artificial intelligence, and the, uh, the camera for the uh, taking uh, the picture of the retina, retina scan, and how the artificial intelligence do the reporting. And there's also, this scan is used to predict my body infarction, five years of activity. So I believe this is the first uh, camera that I uh, brought in Pakistan. So we will give you a demonstration of that. And the Rawalpindi Medical University leadership has been asking me for the last six months. Even though I'm in Bali and I'm giving to them. The reason I'm giving to them is their leadership. Because I, I want to provide opportunity to the medical students. If I give to somebody who really don't understand, number one, number two, does not have that motivation, giving to them this camera is not going to help too much. But if I give somebody with a leadership motivation and vision, it can give opportunity to the students, research opportunity. So this is the um, latest uh, article on this uh, project that we are going to launch with the help of university uh, in Rawalpindi. This is on the myocardial function. So it's the University of uh, Lee in UK. And uh, the person uh, who had this artificial company uh, is in America. Uh, so they are collaborating with us. So you can see you sitting here and we're still bringing you a opportunity for research, which is the most important thing for your residency. If you want to go to USA, you need to do some research. And this, this is uh, one of the area we have a lot of people not understanding, their teachers not educating their students. And the students, when they go to take the apply for the residency program, they don't get an So doing the research while you are a student is very important. Very, very important because you are competing internationally and people will spend um, extra one year doing the research because they want to compete, they want to be more prominent compared to other uh, students. So don't think that spending extra time is a waste of time. Actually, it's going to help you for the rest of your life. So, after you finish your final year, make sure that you have research if you want to go in the US. Otherwise, you will spend your money, you will travel, do everything, and because of lack of research, you may not get mad. And it is very expensive applying for the residency, taking all those exams, traveling, that's a very, very expensive. You don't want to be black, peace, minimum. So that's why do everything before you really apply for that uh, program, okay? So your goal can be whatever you have the goal, you want to get the highest education, that's fine, you can go apply and do this. Uh, you can come back to uh, Pakistan and serve as an academic uh, position. So that's one thing. Number two, the U.S. experience. If you uh, can get the opportunity to do the clinical experience which we design this program. Also, I allow physicians to come to my clinics. We have four clinics and we have a multiple physician. I'm a pain restriction physician. I have a primary care physician. I have the psychiatrist and we have a therapist and we use technology. We do the uh, Toxicology lab, also a genetic lab. So these are the opportunities we're trying to help you guys whenever you go to 
US we will provide you that opportunity. So you have the opportunity here to learn the system before even you go there and when you go there you have that opportunity. So that's why this, these experiences are very valuable. Make sure you have time to do these uh, experiences. So research and this experience. The third thing is career counseling. When you start early on, make sure you understand what you want to do in your life, which medicine you want to take. Or now because of the artificial intelligence and medicine, so there are more opportunity also, because this is the future of medicine. Most of the artificial intelligence is going to take over our work, especially like we are doing a retinal scan, the myocard infarction, cardiovascular disease, and we are also trying to uh, produce um, using ultrasounds and having a machine learning to predict uh, strokes. So there are a lot of things coming with the artificial intelligence. So it would be a good idea to, uh, I'm very glad you guys have an uh, IT uh, team here, and that's one of the reasons I came here. And plus I'm good from this <laughs> So these are the things that I think very important that you guys uh, uh, work as a team, volunteer yourself. So this is another thing that we, I find people do not want to volunteer. And I think that's their lack of understanding. Because when you volunteer, you learn a lot. I have uh, one student, uh, day from yesterday, went with me to professor. We had three conferences there. One was Brain and International Conference in a government college at university. Number two, I have um, another professor um, uh, medical university. I presented uh, in my program there. And then we have a stakeholder meeting of the city, the administration, uh, the uh, journalist, um, uh, Olama, and other stakeholder of the community. So we have three uh, sessions in one day. So this person uh, who finished here is a USML uh, And in one day, he did learn a lot that he had no experience. So, and he volunteered for the whole day because his father was my friend, my classmate. And he said that he already now finished his two exams. So he's home just taken me. So do the volunteer work is very important. It's going to help you with the practical knowledge that you will not get without volunteer. So go out of your events and be extra curricular activities. Important. Learn the behavior medicine is one of the most um, unrecognized field. And I can example what we are in this country politically, the crisis that we are facing. So I'm not talking about the politics itself, but it's just something that if we have some of those behavior medicine experts in this country, probably would have done that. So behavior medicine is another field which uh, is very, uh, now becoming more prominent in the uh, developed country. But we are very behind. And that's my project related to behavior medicine. Uh, just to highlight a little bit how it is affecting the outcomes. So the behavior medicine, uh, the psychologists in this country do not have licensing authority. What makes a difference if they don't have a, a licensing authority like you guys when you become a physician, you get a license after you do the house job? The psychologists, they are the most uh, people, a lot of, large number of females are working with us because they, we are trying to help them. So I work with the Senate Committee of uh, Addiction and uh, Mental Health, trying to pass their bill. So now they are the therapists, so they have two groups and they are fighting each other. And that's why 10 years they have not been able to pass their bill. So that's why it's very important. You learn how to resolve your differences with the best outcome. So if you have a 
vision and goal and work as a team, you can do better. So, and we have a large number of females in the master's degree, they have MPhil, they have PhD, and they are able to clinical uh, psychology. So there are a lot of things that we can learn, teach each other and having the employer. So that's why make sure that you guys every every medical student do the volunteer program. Because this is very important on your CV when you apply for the US residency. If you don't have done those, they don't look you are a good going to be a good physician. Because you need to learn how to be a responsible physician and how you present yourself to the patient and how you take those uh, situations uh, when there is a uh, tough situation for the patient, if they are, have an anger problem, they have a most control problem. And if you don't have learn how to deal with them, you can mess up your character. So that's very, very important. Improve your communication skill. If you want to go to US, start working on your communication skill, right from the first skill. Very important. Because when you go in So, these are the basic foundation that I'm trying to uh, help you to understand. We can put all this uh, residency to US in writing, which we are working in China. But pay attention to these basic things first, before you move on to the other uh, area, which are important, but if you don't learn those basic principles, you will not be able to really make a successful career in the US. So what I want to do is uh, last that I want to have volunteer from your college that who can work with the volunteer in the Lamech Bob and other medical college like Rabbi Medical College. So we are working together to create this uh, group of these, uh, students who can help uh, to design this whole roadmap to residency and material format. So if anybody wants to join this group, yeah, let us know. So I will uh, give information to your principal and I'm very uh, thankful to your principal that will allow me to come and uh, share my experience with you guys. So anybody wants to reach out to me, my team, US, my staff, who is American staff, and they know how I work with them, how I take care of their community. So they are very, very helpful. So they can work with you guys. So because we work with them to make sure they are comfortable working with any student who is planning to go there and they do help us. So you will be surprised how good they are in collaborating all the activities that we have for, for, for the student profile. So if you have any questions, I'll finish uh, my talk. Uh, I would be glad to answer your, uh, any questions. Uh, I will provide you information to contact. Uh, if you Google my name, my clinics will appear, and you can call my office. My staff know what I do, so you can apply uh, after talking to them uh, because we are actually doing it. And I have office in Sidewalk, Asmabad, and Gujarat. So if somebody want to do a telemedicine rotation, they can go to our office here, um, and we will provide them the all the things that they need, they just need to be in the office. So, so we are lucky, lucky if you guys want to do the telemedicine presentation, you can do it right here. Anybody else? Thank you very much for your time. And so, hopefully, see you guys. Thank you so much, sir. A beautiful talk for applause for sir.